This is part 26 of Blazor tutorial. In this video, we'll understand two-way data binding in Blazor with a very simple but a real-world example. So here is what we want to do. As we type in this description text box, we want to count the total number of characters typed. Our obvious first step in the component class, let's create a property to hold the description. In the component view, we need a text area element so the user can type the description. And for two-way data binding, let's use the bind attribute and bind to the description property. Just below this text area element, we want to display the total count of characters. For that, let's use description property length. We have a runtime null reference exception. This is because when this component is first rendered, this property description is not initialized. It is null and in our view on the null reference, we are invoking the length property. Hence, we have this null reference exception. There are several ways to fix this. The easiest way is to initialize this property to a default value. Let's set it to an empty string. There we go. We have the component rendered as expected and the initial count is zero. Notice as I start to type in the text box, we don't see the count of characters updated. But then when I press the tab key and then when the element loses focus, that's when we see the count. This is because by default, this bind attribute binds data on change event and the change event is triggered when the text area element loses focus. However, we want this count of characters to be updated as we type in this text area element. We don't want to wait until this element loses focus. So this means we want to change the default event of data binding. We do this by using the event parameter of this bind attribute. So we type at bind colon, we want to use event parameter. So event equals the name of the event on which we want the data binding to happen. And the event in our case is on input. This event is fired as we type in the text area element. Notice now as I type, we see the count of characters. We don't have to wait until the element loses focus. This is because we have changed the default event of data binding by using the event parameter of the bind attribute. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.